Hey, what's up? This is Tom Brennick from the Manahan Street Band, and this is... What's in my bag? What's in my bag? Home Edition. I pulled out a couple records to talk about. This is one of them. Can you get in here on this? Amazing Ramsey Lewis record called Mother Nature's Son, all Beatles covers, and I mean the music is incredible. Chicago Chess Records. Um, also, the cover was the inspiration that um, my sister-in-law Ariana Papadimitropoulos took for the cover of the new Manahan Street Band record, which I wish I had to show you, but I don't. This is another one of those Martin Denny Exotica. When I played her the record, she I don't know how much of a reference she had for instrumental music. So she went right to Exotica, which I felt was a perfect vibe for the music. This is a Alton Ellis record, one of my favorite reggae records of all time. Oh, it's pretty incredible. I couldn't really tell you much about it except that this is not the original record cover and that uh, it's a Studio One and that I highly recommend it. They do a crazy cover of These Eyes by the Guess Who. Super dope, super dope. Here's another classic rock city joint. This is Jackie Me Too, who's a legendary uh, reggae piano player, keyboard player. This is Into the Far Fees on the Grass Field. Um, anyway, this record is pretty incredible. They do a lot of Booker T and the MGs covers, and whenever you hear a 60s band, a 60s reggae band, play soul music, it's pretty incredible. Then they straighten out. There's something really incredible about it. So, on my shelf, what else we got? What else we got? This is a great one. The Moments, one of my favorite bands of all time. On Stang Records, a record label owned by Sylvia Robinson, the great Sylvia Robinson from Mickey and Sylvia, Pillow Talk, the godfather, the godmother of hip hop. Anyways, this record's live and pretty unbelievable. The rhythm section is uh, Willie and the Mighty Magnificence. It's recorded live at the New York State Women's Prison. Pretty unbelievable record. They also do a version of Wichita Lineman, the great Jimmy Webb song. And um, I love that song. I love hearing people do it. So check it out. And maybe like one more for you. Um, I thought this, Chris is my favorite artist of all time. And this is Curtis live at the bitter end from 1970. It's just when he went solo from the impressions and he was about to release Curtis Curtis. So all the songs on this record are pretty much from his debut solo record. Plus a few that weren't on that record, like I Plan to Stay, I Believer, and Stone, Stare and Stare. Anyway, maybe because it's COVID or something, but the thought of seeing a small five-piece group in a small club in New York City just seems like a dream right now. So uh, that's, it. that's about it for me. Hope you dug it. Thank you very much. Amoeba Records, lots of love. <laughs>